Okay, so now we have a painted hood. So, see how that looks. Um, let's go over to yonder. So, it's all even, it's all straight. <sighs> I'm tired. It is 85 degrees here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry. I'm not going to clear coat it yet. I want to sand this a bit. And uh, there's one area that I missed because I am human. And uh, this also goes to the point where it helps to use a high build primer and uh, you know not like I miss doing it the customer just had a very low budget so um, if you look in this corner right here you see these scratch marks so this paint isn't thick enough because it's not designed to be to hide that so what we gotta do is I'm going to wait for this to dry then I'm going to take care of here I'm going to sand that down and repaint it and then I can wait for it to flash and then I can put my my clear coat over this entire thing so I'm also going to inspect other areas as well um, because I used a darker primer and this is a bit more orange than a like a cherry red it took more coats to actually uh, cover the spot like all there had black etching primer so and then a gray top coat you know if I used a lighter primer I'd have been better off so you know you live and you learn so this is good this is going to be left alone to set then afterwards I'll come back at it sand it and then I'll put a whole nother coat on the whole thing. So that's why I'm not doing too crazy and, and um, going too, too crazy. Cause you know, I'm gonna put another two coats, two, three coats of base on this and take care of that. And it seems like I also missed this one little spot over here. So, you know, and right here. So this is good. Cause putting down Paint actually will help you see, but you know, again, I gave the person a budget. He said bare necessities. Technically, I'd be within my right to give him the car as is, but I'm a professional. So he needs to get a best job that I can give him, um, you know, boy, what he's doing. All in there. I try to put as much paint as possible, but I'm gonna need to get my smaller paint gun or a spray can. So, um, that is factory. That's why I haven't really concerned myself too much with it. So, it is what it is. So, that's gonna, something that's gonna have to be dealt with separately. So that wasn't thought about, it was seen after the fact. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. That's as far as my paint gun can go in there. I'm gonna have to get, even a mini gun would be difficult. I don't know. I gotta think more about what I'm gonna do in there. Otherwise, all the body lines look good. There was a dent here. That's gone. And there was gouges here. And you know, if you look at my other videos, you'll see where they are. Right now, they're all gone. They're all nice. The light reflects the light from the camera reflects the car evenly so I know I'm I'm good I'm not I haven't I haven't gone too crazy so yeah that's uh where we're at oh and uh, right here I have a little run so, it happens I believe what makes a body man or anyone doing this kind of work it's not the problem it's not 
giving a perfect job. It's about when you, what you do when you have problems. That's uh, that's what makes an experienced body man, because there's going to be problems. This is a big truck, you know, and I'm doing a lot of a lot of fix-ups everywhere. So, you know, you're gonna run into different problems. So, how you deal with those problems is what'll make you a better body man. All right. So, I'm going to get some food. <laughs> Till next time.